What's up, y'all? Welcome to another Week in Motion. That's yeah. just gonna be our name from here on. I love on. that name. Week in Motion. We are downtown. Um, I have a gig tonight, um, mm -hmm. and it is my first club gig. So, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm anxious, but hopefully things go well. I've been practicing. No, things are gonna go fine. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Thank you. So, for those who don't know, this is Alex's first gig. It's gonna be at first club gig. First club gig. You're right. It's gonna be at Future. Um, his set goes on from like 11 to 1. Yep. Um, I'm sorry, get out the way. We're in the parking lot because the lighting is like a little terrible. Yeah. But yeah, so of course we're gonna get y'all some some footage of his set. Let's see, DJ Professor Flo. Um, I'm super excited. How you feel? Are you still nervous? Uh, I'm still nervous. I just need to see what things look like, um, and then I'll feel better once I like lay my eyes on the setup of everything. But um, other than that, I'm just ready to get it over with. <laughs> We're, we'll have fun though. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's get in here because this park lots of nice. All right. So before we get things going, real quick, do not forget to like and comment and subscribe to our channel. Uh, be sure to leave a comment. We love interacting with y'all. And um, yeah, let's run this video up. So. What's up, y'all? Hey, good so morning. We are back. We are currently outside the High Museum. We are going into the Giants exhibit. Yeah, we were um, extended the invitation to come and film some content to promote the exhibit. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, this is an exhibit of uh, the art collection from um, Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys. And so they actually started it in New York and Brooklyn in particular and they just opened it up here in Atlanta. And I've actually, I've been to the uh, Brooklyn exhibit, so I'm excited to see the Atlanta version of it. Yeah, super excited to see the um, the art installations and everything. So we'll take y'all along for it. We probably won't be doing too much talking. Yeah, because we got to film some actual content um, for them, so yeah. Welcome. Um, it's Sunday and I am out grabbing some groceries because I'm gonna cook dinner today, but I'm not buying a lot of groceries um, because yeah, that's just the way the week goes. Anyway, um, welcome back. I don't think we spoke to you guys since yesterday. We were out in Midtown visiting the high, filming some content for, um, for a brand partnership. So um, really excited, be on the lookout for that and then run it up, please do. Um, and I think we did mention, yeah, that it's for the Giants exhibit at the Hyde Museum here in Atlanta. Um, but yeah, so I've been craving some jambalaya. It's fall officially. Well, I mean, the day that the fall equinox has not occurred, but it definitely feels like fall. It's been very gloomy. The leaves are changing colors. It's chilling down a little bit. Um, and I've been craving like comfort jambalaya 
I've not had in a long time. And since I'm now eating seafood, um, I can, you know, have it with some shrimp and yeah. So anyway, been craving it. So here to pick up stuff to make that. Also in previous vlogs, you probably heard us talk about um, these old fashioned red velvet donuts and just generally old fashioned cake donuts. And they've, you know, taken a hold on our lives. It's been disastrous actually. Our diet shot, so it means we have to stay in the gym and just be a little bit more careful with how many of these donuts we're <laughs> eating, but decided to just try to make my own, um, which it doesn't seem too complicated. Uh, don't require any yeast or anything, so I'm gonna pick up some stuff to make that. And then, um, yeah, with the jambalaya, I'm gonna uh, do some potato salad. I think Ricky's gonna fry some catfish. And then we're just gonna have like a really chill night. It's been a chill weekend. Um, for the most part at least since you know saturday was chill today's chill um but yeah so i've been um just getting mentally prepared for a heavy week i think ricky's also got a lot planned this week so yeah a lot going on so just hope you all enjoy this kind of relaxing and prepping mentally spiritually physically for you know our our weeks together because it, it can be a lot um but one way we get ready is by having a good meal. So yeah, let me get in here, get groceries, and uh, head back home and, and uh, probably start cooking. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> So just a quick update. I have been actually hold on. I'm watching Chaos. You heard? But yeah, I um started making the donuts and just wanted to show y'all how they're coming out. So here's some frying currently. And here's a batch and I already messed up as you can tell so anyway so i'm not vlogging or recording the whole experience because clearly this is my first time and i need to figure out how to do this um but just wanted to give you all an update i mean i tasted a little bit of the um the cake and it came out pretty good it's like funnel cakes anyway all right wrapping this up about to add the glaze to them and then um, move on to cooking our jambalaya for dinner all right so I just finished the jambalaya and it looks good um, Ricky's frying some fish so you can probably hear that but I just want to show you guys what the jambalaya looks like there it is. so yeah so there's shrimp uh, vegan smoked sausage and some vegan chicken from Tofurky in there. So yeah, I'm gonna try to um, get Ricky to say hey to y'all whenever he comes back down. What you got there? I up some fish. Good. You said that, it's like really thick. Yeah. It's gonna be good though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy some fish, so I'm glad to, um, I'm glad to get it back going. What's up y'all it is monday i am just getting off work just got into my comfy clothes and i came home to some packages from amazon so this is super exciting because we're actually going to start decorating for fall it's only about like five or six days away so we went on ahead and ordered a couple of things so i'm going to show you what we ordered and um, everything is going to be linked in our amazon storefront i'll put that in the um, description box for y'all so yeah let's see what we got so yeah, like I said, we're about to go through a couple of our Amazon purchases. Um, first and foremost though, I don't remember if we told y'all or not, but the plan for decorating this house is going to turn into like a um, like a Hogwarts. So super excited about that, totally different from what we're used to. So our plan is to have our dining room 
be the um, Great Hall, and our kitchen is going to be a potions classroom, and then our living room, our main living room here, is going to be the um, Slytherin Common Area. So. Totally different, totally different what we're used to, but also very exciting. Um, and this will also lead into uh, an upcoming event that we have later in October, which we'll tell you more about that later. So yeah, let's get into what we um, what we got. So for starters, I guess I'll start with this. These are, as you can see, some cauldrons. <laughs> you can't have potions class without some cauldrons. So we got five in one, it's like a five in one set. They come in different sizes. And I'm thinking about just filling these up with some um, some liquid and some dry ice to give that like bubbly effect. I think that'd be pretty cool. And this will definitely go in the kitchen with all the other decorations, probably like on the shelves or something. Okay, next up we have, what is this? Okay, also for, for the kitchen for potions class, we have this neat idea to get some flask flasks, plural. <laughs> we had this neat idea to get some um, Erlenmeyer flasks and we're gonna fill these up with probably like some water or something and then do some food coloring so it can give like that um, that potions vibe. So this is like a set of, I believe a set of 50, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of glasses, a lot of potions in this potions classroom. Okay, next up, so this would be for the living room or the Slytherin common area, we're gonna have these velvet velvet curtains. They're like in this dark green, which goes with our vibe, and obviously it goes to Slytherin. So we ordered them for all of our windows up in here. So I think, will we do this next week? Probably not next week, but definitely soon. You'll see these green curtains come up, and um, I think these will be nice. They're heavy and they actually are long enough to go all the way from top to bottom. So very super excited to hang those up. Next up we have, what is this? Okay. So this is, we got to assemble this on our own, but essentially it is a metal, can you see that? A metal candelabra. There we'll picture of it right there. So it comes with all the pieces and it's easy to assemble. I'm thinking this will probably go in the, um, actually, this might go in the living room. Probably like a, um, a centerpiece or something. And so yeah, the plan is to probably put that probably in the, um, either in the dining room or in the living room. I actually might get a couple more because they're kind of, I mean, you, you can't tell obviously, but they're, they're, they're pretty heavy. So they got some weight to them. So I might, I might order a couple more of these. Just to give it like that that look, that old school vintage like Hogwarts look. Next up for now, we got some um, some taper candles, some spiral taper candles, and of course they're um, of course they're green, <laughs> green for Slytherin. So these are probably going to go. I think I want these to go obviously in the common area, but I think I'm going to have these sprinkled all over, just like little accents. And so we got two of these. These come in a pack of. 12. So we're gonna have these for now. We're gonna light these up and I think these are non-drip if I'm if I'm saying that correctly. Let's see. I'll test that out and verify for you. We're gonna have these all over the house as well. And yeah, so that'll be the start. Um, obviously we're gonna get some more pieces, but this will be a good start for now. And then we'll actually do a, a actual decorating video later on in the week so be on the lookout for that also since we're on the subject of harry potter let us know in the comments which house you are um obviously we're both slytherin um as you can tell by like all the green and everything but yeah let us know what house you are in the comments okay and that wraps up our um <laughs> our little mini haul that we had so yeah i think probably now i'm about to just relax for a little bit we have a birthday dinner to go to for one of our good friends so we'll probably step out for that and then probably come back home and you know, decompressing it right for the rest of the week, so.